Hello people, it's Ben here, and today I'm going to be looking at this lovely little piece of kit. It's from the uh, Shanghai Transformer Fan Club. Um, the G3 Studios. It's basically the chromed up minions for Transformers Prime Soundwave. As you can see the uh, box is rather nice and highly reflective so you will probably see me in it. Uh, just uh, some warning on the side, not for uh, people under the age of three. I mean, who in their right mind would give this to a three-year-old? It's a lovely kit. Right, um, let's open it up, shall we? Via, uh, I have no nails. If I can just pry this open. Look at this absolutely seamless. Ah. Look at that, just pull, and there, there we go, there we go. No effort at all. <laughs> and here we have uh, what we get. Basically you get your minions and you get a nice little pin badge. Let's have a look at the pin badge. There we go, That's, uh, obviously it's part of the uh, Shanghai China Collectors Convention of 2012. And this is the special pin badge you got. And here's the first of our minions, which in essence is a laser beak, but lovely and chromed up. I'm trying to get it on camera. There's just so much glare off this guy. He's so shiny and good. Um, very detailed. Very detailed with such a small little guy. Uh, I do like the idea of these. Um, not a big fan of uh, Transformers Prime Soundwave himself. Um, it's just something about him, something I don't like, but these minions set him off. Um, I need to get myself some of the repro labels to go on Soundwave. Uh, these really do set him off. Um, here we have Ratbat. I think it's Ratbat. Um, again, lots of glare. Ah, there we go. Very detailed. Very detailed indeed. I really like these. Um, got these from Roger and uh, Robin. Uh, thank you very much, uh, link below um, to where you can purchase them from. I think I paid something like £30 including shipping. Very, very good. Um, as you can see, the detail on this, um, I mean, I've, I've been having a good play with them. There's no chromeware at all. Um, this is the one that came with Soundwave originally. I think this is meant to be his laser beak. So it is a different mould. Um, is it better? Yes, yes it is. Um, to get him ready, flip them up with these hinges and flip these two up. And then with your sound wave, just plug the peg into his chest cavity like so. Give it a push, moderate force, and bend these hinges back. Now they don't curve all the way over the shoulder because it's only a one way hinge, but I think they look very good how they are. Just kind of uh, expands his chest, gives him, uh, I don't know, gives him a more aggressive appearance. What do you guys think? I like that. If I can uh, balance him. Yes, yeah, I'm happy with that. That does look good. Now let's, um, if you have a look on his hand, Here's a small little huddle, and we can plug our other minions using the port just on the hand like that. Now I know there are other versions of these that are painted. Um, I just like chromey goodness. I do. Uh, there we go, and it especially goes with um, a lot of the chromed uh, arms microns that you're getting now with uh, the. Uh, I was micro series, surprisingly enough. Now, if we pop this out, let's uh, stick Ratbat on his chest. Uh, exactly the same way. Flip the hinge upwards. I'm not in camera, am I? Hang on. Sorry. There. Flip the hinge upwards. And just push into place. Apply moderate force and bend the uh, wings up. And again, you could use the uh, hole for laser beak. Ah, again this is a very aggressive look. Um, 
I, I do like it. It does go with the sound waves appearance. He's got those two kind of chromed antenna on his head and it does kind of set them off. Um, and there's Laserbeak on his arm. It almost looks like some sort of bow, doesn't it? Now, I'm not entirely convinced uh, whether these will fit on him in uh, plane mode, so let's, let's, let's have a look. Um, we've got the hole here, haven't we? So if we can stick... Uh, let's put laser beak up here, like so, to kind of bend these down, uh, like that. Then, obviously, we've got the uh, original hole underneath. We can try and do that. I'm not, I'm not on camera at all, am I? Sorry, I'm. It's a bit fiddly. Whilst he's in jet mode, push it in. Uh, and there we go. Look, yeah. Uh, um, it's not bad, is it? Um, yeah, I, yeah, okay, I don't think it works in jet mode, but it really does in robot mode. Um, I suppose it kind of looks like some sort of bat jet, doesn't it, from Batman? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> sound where you the bat jet. Uh, let's take these off. And fold these up and pull this out like so. Um, all in all, I'm very happy with my purchase. These are nice little pieces of kit. Um, highly detailed, much better quality than the Arms Microns. Now, Roger's link is down here, and I've got a link to my competition up here, so make sure you uh, click on it and subscribe. And hope you've enjoyed the review. Until next time, guys, goodbye! <laughs>